afternoon, good morning, good evening, sim fans, race fans and RC fans. Racing 393. I'm a little bit late uh, to the party. This is already all over the internet. This is the uh, Assetto Corsa and the, and the VRC mod. Uh, virtual race cars brought out a, a batch of cars uh, that resembled uh, the saloon cars, or in this case, the British touring car. Uh, it's more of a silhouette. They uh, they didn't have, to the best of my knowledge, it didn't have the licensing to do a Ford or a, a Nissan or whatever the other two cars were. And of course, once those cars come out, which resembled, for example, here you see a Ford Mondeo. Of course, the models came out, independent ones, the third party hard workers and decided to uh, skin up uh, these cars so the one you have before you is a 1997 uh, Ford Mondeo still not an official liveried car I don't think they're allowed to use the proper words. Mondo. So it's still a Mondo. But at least it sort of resembles the Valvoline British touring car. Yeah, still looks good though. I mean, you can't see it when you're sat in it. So, you know, we're going to take it round a track. I'm particularly interested in these cars because I've tried uh, the front wheel drive. I think it was this uh, Mondeo. Um, and I've taken it around a, a random track. And the front wheel drive aspect that the uh, that VRC have actually portrayed in the sim is, is wow. I mean, that is really good. So we're going to take it around a track. Uh, I don't know yet. Maybe something like... Uh, Donington Park, or one of the British uh, BTCC uh, tracks. Uh, we'll take it around for a couple of laps, and then we'll look at the replay. Um, and I'll try and point out the uh, the, 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 the front-wheel drive aspects of the feel when I'm driving, if I can. Incidentally, we've gone on to uh, Reed's car, um, which is actually liveried up and has the Ford logo. So that is more official. Um, maybe the first one was actually VRC, but this has got the Auto Trader BTCC livery, so we'll try that one. I brought you back again. I've had a bit of problem. Uh, I think I did read uh, the custom shaders patch version of these cars needs a uh, a certain version of custom shaders patch. I don't think I've got that. Now the problem is behind the scenes. Like the other day, my Assetto Corsa. Um, content manager for some reason went into like it doesn't work mode download the custom shaders patch again which calls a bit of a faff put a shortcut to it something happened i don't know what it was uh but anyway i'm not sure that's got anything to do with why i can't run the the, the certain mods uh but anyway we'll try this one uh so we're finally in the pits. It's on sunrise, so it's going to be kind of a bit typical British weather. So you can see, just come out of the pits. Um, this is how the uh, the VRC mod looks. So the in-car bit is exactly the same. It does have the liveries and a few sort of decals there on the dash, which probably hasn't got Your the license. clear. Watch the white line. We've got cold tyres. We need to get some heat into them. Which probably hasn't got the license in for. This is Castle Donington in a sort of 1998 livery, apparently. I don't remember what it looked like, but. Car feels really good. We're on um, sequential.
on the uh, blur bridge it says it's paddle shift so I back out again I had to just quickly switch the gear shift priority although you can use two different types of shifters when you uh, map the paddles for example the sequential shifter takes second priority and you can sometimes get some miss shifts I'm not sure why that is we're back out at Donington on the Grand Prix circuit trying to get the tyres warm there's no grip at all at the moment just going to check my brake strength you're locking your fronts into the old hairpin so let me just take it round for a few laps warm the tyres up like that and I'll be back in a minute struggling to get heat in the tyres at the moment the right side tyres are cold we'll try a lap and I'll talk through it so the idea being it tends to want to swap ends because the backs, back tyres are not hot at all at the moment I've not got through Craner that big situation so I've slowed down a bit more there it just wants to swap ends I know the line wasn't good you can feel the torque steer on the front wheels amazing sure the car would be a little bit quicker than what I'm driving it though feels really good though in the car behind the steering wheel the right tyres are cold I can't get the rear tyres warm at all. Right there. And then torque steer on the way out. Back tyres are stone cold. That lap was at 145.56. Sector 3 times OK. It's a weird sensation driving a front wheel drive Sector car. Sector time is good. At pace. Got to be so careful with all the inputs. Just trying to let it roll through the apex but would it be this difficult in real life this hairpin always locks up on I feel so slow That was my quickest lap. That lap time was 144.94. Good lap. That's your quickest today. So we're just starting the last lap. Coming to Goddard's, the final, the final hairpin. We 
mean, these Mondeos back in the day were their V6, weren't they? So Andy Rouse was sort of the uh, pioneer of the Mondeo era. So a bit of under, understeer oversteer there. Looks good though, the modelling. The track looks good. My driving isn't too bad. So that's the old hairpin. Trying to keep the momentum up without the car sliding is very difficult. I think I cut the corner here. I think it was the next, uh, I think it was at the top of the hill as I came round. Poppies, yeah. Unsettled the car. But it looks like, you know, late 90s touring cars. You can't want more for that, can you? So, um, yeah, I mean, it's uh, the VRC is a fantastic front wheel drive super tourer, if you like. There's many mods out there and skins and clever people who update various things to make them look perhaps how they should have looked uh, with, you know, with the licensing. Uh, the track itself uh, feels all right. I have driven around Donington Park. Sort of feels as it is. And there we go. So that there is a lap of Donington Park in a 97 liveried uh, touring car. So that will wrap up that one today. So anyway, that's that for today. That's VRC. Uh, virtual race cars. I'll put a link in the description. Um, I'll put. Uh, if you go into race department, you'll soon find mods of like skins and things regarding tracks and cars, etc. And you can take your car around a sort of a, a 90s, 97, 98 feel British touring car era. Great, great times. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I shall see you soon. And uh, goodbye for now.